Yiladim and Yiladot. Right now, we're going to learn that the Chag of Pesach actually has four names. Four names. Shemot Hechag. Maze Shemot. Raise your hand if you know what Shemot is. Tezev. Maze Shemot. Okay, Shemot, Vav Taf means more than one. More than one what? More than one shame. What's a shame? Name. Name. Very good, Ariel. So Shemot Hechag means the names of the Chag. What's a Chag? Kyla? Holiday. Holiday. Very good. So the names of the holiday. Kama Shemot Yesh. Kama Shemot Yesh po. Yes, Emil. Arba. Arba. Four. Echad. Shtayim. Shalosh. Arba. Four names. Now let's go through each one. I'm going to teach you a special song so you guys will know them by heart. Okay, the first one is Chag HaPesach. Why is it called Chag HaPesach? Because the word Pesach means to pass over. That's why in English, people like to call Pesach Passover. What is... It have to do with passing over. Yes, Natan? Um, passing over... Um, uh, passing over um, to Israel. Passing over to Israel. That's um, a good theory. What do you think, David? Nice. That very good. David, touch your finger on the screen. And from this house... And pass over the house of the Jew. Yes. Oh, and pass over. It's right. And it's very appropriate to use the lightsaber over here, right? Like, uh, like the weapon of destruction. Thanks for being so quiet and listening so nicely, Kyla, while I'm teaching. Because we're recording right now, right? And Hashem struck the firstborn in the house of the Egyptian, but then he passed over the, the Bayat Yehudi, and he struck the next house of the Mitzri, the Egyptians. So only the Egyptian firstborns were killed. That's why it's called Chag HaPesach, the holiday of passing over. The next one is called Ziman Cheruteinu. Cheruteinu means freedom. Ziman, what is Ziman? Anyone know what Ziman means? Anyone know what Ziman means? No? Zaman maybe is a new word for you. Zaman means time. So Zaman Cheruteinu means the time of our freedom. freedom. Freedom from where? Raise your hands. Where are we where did we go free from? Yes, Sabia. Mitzrayim. From Mitzrayim, from Egypt. We used to be slaves in Mitzrayim. And let's read together. Hashem Otsi at the Bene Israel Mitzrayim. Hashem took the Jewish people out of Mitzrayim. Yes, I know this is cursive writing. For first grade, it may be new to a lot of us. We're going to learn it, right? That's how you make an aleph in cursive writing. That's a tzaddik. Looks like a three. Okay? Kidei. Why did Hashem do that? In order. Latet lahem et Torah. To give us the Torah. And you know what, boys and girls? The Torah is the true freedom. Because... Is freedom just that you can walk around and do whatever you want, that you're not chained up and locked up in a jail? Well, if you can't live in the way that your neshama is meant to live, it's sort of like a jail also. Right? Imagine a person... Imagine a person was given... Imagine you give a person millions and millions of dollars and lots of free time. He doesn't have to work. He can do whatever they want. There's only one problem. They don't know what to do with themselves. And even worse, they have a Yetzirah. They have desires. They have wants that are not so good. And that make that give them ideas to do the wrong things. So they're gonna waste all their money and waste all their time. Are they truly free? No. No, not really. Right? Imagine a blind person. A blind person. Chas v'shalom, no one should ever be blind. Imagine a blind person goes to buy a suit. <laughs> and he comes to the store. I remember that. 
and he has all the money. And they tell him, I want to buy a nice, I want to buy a nice suit. But this blind person is not able to see. So he comes to the store and he says to the owner of the store, I can't see. I, could you show me where the suits are? And the guy says, sure, right over here. And he picks a suit that's too small. And it's a weird color. It's green with polka dots. And the owner of the store says, Sir, would you like me to help you choose a nice suit that will match you? And he says, no, I want to be free. I want to choose for myself. Is he really being free? No. 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 True freedom, boys and girls, is if you know the right thing and if you make the right choices that are good for you, then you're not being limited by things that hold you back. And that is what Hashem gave us when He gave us the Torah. Torah. That's right. Hashem gave us the Torah. That makes us truly free. So when we say Zeman Chayrutainu, the time of our freedom, we don't just mean that we're free from chains of Mitzrayim, but we're also free because Hashem gave us the Torah. Then there's Chag HeAviv, the holiday of Aviv. What's the Aviv? Yes, Amir. Uh, the season of spring. Spring. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sharp. Sure, David. That's correct, David. Hashem brought us out of Mitzrayim to do the Torah. And you know when Hashem brought us out of Mitzrayim? In the Aviv, in the spring. Why did Hashem do that? Because, how was the weather in the Aviv? <laughs> yes, not, yes, Dave. It was nice and like, um, they grew flowers. Very, very good at the, the time. It's beautiful in the spring. Hashem didn't want us to go in freezing cold and shivering. Hashem didn't want us to go in the burning hot sun. Hashem took us out in the Aviv with the nice flowers. And then, the last holiday is Chag HaMatzot. The holiday of Matzot. Why is it called Chag HaMatzot? Why? Yes, David, why is it called Chag HaMatzot? Because um, what? Because, like, because Bish Kishabanu Israel, Kishabene Israel Yatsu, Mimitzraim, Lohayal Zaman. When the Jewish people left Mitzrayim, Lo Hayazman, Mazah Lo Hayazman. Zman was they didn't have time. They didn't have time Labatsek for their dough, the Hachmitz to become Chametz. Chametz means to rise up like yeast and 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 dough. When you mix flour and water together, it fluffs up. Raise your thumbs up if you, your mom ever made challah and left it and, gonna, and it came back in an hour and it got big. Yeah, I see a bunch of you are raising your hands, right? V'lachain achlu matzah. We're going to write over here when we have our own Haggadot. We're going to write over here in cursive writing matzah. That's how you make a mem in cursive writing. Looks like a N. And a tzaddik looks like a three and a hey sort of looks familiar. They ate matzah. So these are the four names of the holiday. Okay, let's test you over here. I'm going to put the pointer on. Let's put the finger pointer. Who's? Let's see how well you paid attention. I'm going to ask a student to point to the holiday, which, to, uh, of course, it's the same holiday. They're all the holiday of Pesach. But point to the name of the holiday, which reminds us that Hashem took us out of Egypt in the springtime. Raise your hand if you can do it. Yes, Zev, go ahead, point to it. Point, point, touch the screen. Ooh, is that the right answer? Got to try. Uh, yes, Ariel, go ahead, point. Uh, very good. Chag Aviv. Very good. That's correct. Now point to the name. Who can point to the name? Of the holiday that reminds us that Hashem made us free, free from slavery and free to learn Torah. Yes, Kaila. Which one is that? Point. 
Yes, Zman Chayirutenu, time of our freedom. Okay, who could point to the name of the holiday which reminds us that Hashem passed over the Jewish homes? Yes, Natan. Correct, Chag Pesach. And who could point to the name of the holiday which reminds us that on, we didn't have, the dough didn't have time to rise and so we had to eat matzah. Yes, Amir. Chag HaMatzot. Beautiful. Now I'm going to teach you guys a song. First time I'm going to sing it and you just listen to me then we'll all sing it together. Chag HaPesach Ziman Cheiruteinu Chag Aviv Chag HaMatzot Chag HaPesach Ziman Cheiruteinu Chag Aviv Chag HaMatzot Okay, let's sing it together again. You guys joining with me from the beginning. One, two, three, go. Chag HaPesach Ziman Cheiruteinu Chag Aviv Chag HaMatzot Chag HaPesach Ziman Cheiruteinu Chag Aviv Chag HaMatzot Beautiful.